All right, hello, my peoples. Wait, there you are. Hi. So um, I'm going to walk you through a frog dissection, uh, and this is probably the only time you're going to actually see me because I'm going to be working down here. So a couple things before we get started as far as what you need. Obviously, you need some tools. So in your little tool basket, we should have um, skizzers. All right. We should have some T-pins. And remember, they're called T-pins because the end looks like a T. Um, you should have a dissecting needle or a probe. It goes by lots of different names. Um, you should have some sort of tweezers. All right. Um, and then you should also have your lab. All right, that's kind of an important thing. Um, in your dissecting pan, um, remember you should have paper towel in the bottom of it to take care of anything that's down there. And then also for cleanup, we're gonna have a plastic bag and a fresh sheet of paper towel to put back in our tray um, before we get started. All right, so out of all of this, of course, we have the frog. I'm gonna try to arrange this so you can actually see about there. Yeah, that looks about the middle. So you can see what's going on, okay? So before you get started, there is a part on external anatomy, okay? So that's the part that I'm gonna start with and kind of walk you through a couple um, helpful hints and tricks of the trade before we get into the nitty gritty about the frog. Okay, so um, before we get started, notice we've got some coloration, all right? Um, and these are obviously the chromatophore cells that they talk about. And this is the pigment that gives the frog this fabulous coloring. And then external-wise, um, it talks about the nictitating membrane. Let's see if I can get real close. Okay, so the nictitating membrane, remember, is around the eye. Um, it's kind of hard to see in this shot. Oh, there's a better one, maybe. All right, so around the eye, you can just see the bottom of it kind of right there. So that's the nictitating membrane. It's like the third eyelid. Right behind that, you can see a, this lovely circular area is the tympanic membrane, which is responsible for hearing, okay? Um, they do tell you about hind legs and forelegs to help decide if that's a male or a female. I don't usually have a lot of luck with that one as far as like the roughened pad on the arms. Um, so I usually just wait until I get internal to make my final decision on whether or not it's a male or a female, okay? All right, getting the mouth open. So the next part, the oral cavity, part B, is a little bit of a tricky situation. Okay, it does require a little bit of muscle, um, but it honestly, you just kind of have to go for it. Um, in our frog right now, you can see that its tongue is actually sticking out. This is its tongue. And any juice, it's not blood, don't freak out, um, is just like dissecting fluid. They have to be preserved. So what you see coming out is dissecting fluid. That's what's making my um, paper towel wet. Um, just like in our worm, it's a closed um, circulatory system, so you're not going to see any gushing blood, okay? So to get this open, usually I take a tweezers or something and kind of do a little prying, okay? A couple of things you should notice, and like I said, this is going to get a little tricky as far as seeing what I actually want you guys to see. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Wrong way. Zooming in. There we go. Let's uh, move to the right spot. There we go. Focus, focus, focus. Focusing, sort of. It's thinking. Wow. It really doesn't, there we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so uh, when you open the mouth, it is gonna take a little bit of oomph, okay? Couple things to note, you actually have one set of teeth right here, these two little dots. These are the vomerine teeth, okay? The other set of teeth is this ridge, and if you feel it, like bump, 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 if you run your probe along it, you can actually feel the other set of teeth. Those are the maxillary teeth, okay? The bulges that you see on the inside, that's where the eyeballs are coming in, okay? And then you have the tongue, all right? One thing that it asks you about is where in the mouth does the tongue attach to? So I'm not gonna give you the answer to that because I want you to figure that out on your own, but you can kind of see um, this would fold back if we were actually gonna put it back in its mouth, it would fold back this way, all right? So this is actually the tongue, the whole entire tongue right here, okay? If you look real close and get the mouth open far enough, you may be able to see the glottis. Um, if you can't, don't worry about that. I get it. It's a little hard to see sometimes. Okay, big parts I do want you to notice where the tongue is attached. Vomerine teeth, maxillary teeth. Okay, so that's our external anatomy, um, or rather our internal oral cavity. Okay, all right. Moving on to the um, digestive system. So we actually have to start our cutting. I'm gonna to try to turn this around so that you can actually see 
um, how this is going to be located. All right. Um, I honestly think pins are not necessary, but this one little arm may have some issues, so we might actually pin that one down. But for the most part, I don't think pins are necessary um, for the frog. Okay, so I'm trying to get that in the center. Um, okay, so I'm going to reposition frog so you can see. Look, it's waving. Hello, froggy. Okay, so in your diagram, it goes through a picture as far as how to make your cuts. I like to think of it as armpit to armpit, hip to hip, and then straight down the middle. Just like you're opening up a set of doors, you have to go through two layers. First layer is skin. Second layer is muscle. And once you get the skin done, so there's the skin layer, um, you will really see a froggy, literally froggy six pack because if you did crunches all day, you would um, have a pretty darn good set of abs as well. So right now I'm working on my hip to hip cuts. Again, just through the skin layer. Okay. And then you wanna kinda go up to the armpit area and do the same thing, okay? So armpit to armpit, hip to hip. You're gonna make two little doors in essence, all right? Now, if it's easier, you can pin these back if that makes your life easier. I honestly usually just cut them off because it's easier just to not have them around, okay? And then just set them off to the side, okay? So there's a skin flap. Here's another skin flap, all right? If you were wondering why in the world there's some extra coloring, um, it's because this frog was injected with dye to actually let you see the veins and the arteries along those lines. Um, we're not gonna worry too much about that. All right, so right now the skin layer's off. You can see a very well-defined froggy six pack. Um, like I said, if you did ab crunches all day, you'd be pretty ripped as well. Okay, same thing we're gonna do on the cutting to follow our hip to hip, armpit to armpit cuts um, as well. Okay, and again, if you wanna cut down the middle, you can, otherwise I'm just gonna kind of follow this outside edge and go around and make a flap and then keep cutting. So the sharper your scissors are, the easier it will be. All right, the first thing that you notice upon removal of this flap is going to be the liver. The liver is that very dark um, area. And again, there should be several lobes or sections to the liver. And like I said, that's the first thing that you see. Now to really get into the frog, you're gonna have to move some stuff around, which is totally fine, okay? Um, so the other part, this section right here, probably didn't go up high enough because I can just barely see the heart, definitely can't see the lungs. Um, so you may have to go back and extend this cut a little bit more, but for right now, let's uh, call it as it is. Okay, so we've got liver, three big sections here, okay, one, two, three. All of these little fingery things that you see are fat bodies and they will be all over the place. So as we kind of get into it, you'll notice um, more and more of them. All right. And underneath our liver, we've got our stomach right here. Okay. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. Wrong way. Sorry about that. Okay. So here's our internal systems. All right. So liver. Here's our stomach. Our stomach leads to intestines, which are this coiling bit right here. So remember we talked about it looks kind of like spaghetti. Yes, it does. All right. And here's our first indication that this is actually a female frog. So this black spongy stuff right here is actually the egg mass. So that's clue number one, that this is actually a female. Um, clue number two, right next to it, these are the oviducts, and only female frogs have those, okay? Um, other things you need to be aware of where they are is the gall bladder, G-A-L-L. -L. It is this small little P-shaped um, organ right here. Sometimes it's tucked underneath the liver. Mine just happens to be sticking out very nicely. So this little P shape is our gall bladder, G-A-L-L. -L. Um, the heart is just barely visible as this pink mass right there. So like I said, in order to see it, the whole thing, we're gonna have to go up a little higher, okay? The spleen is the other kind of P shaped ball item right here, all right? Um, kidneys are kind of hard to see because they are on the back side. Uh, of the frog, so on the dorsal surface, like on the very inside of the dorsal surface wall. 
um, which is why if you play a sport where there's a high amount of impact, um, you always have to watch out about hitting your back because you may damage your kidneys. All right, so I'm going to make two cuts through there just to kind of get a flap going to see if I can open this up. Okay, so inside, oops. Kathy and Andrew Holtz, please come to the front office. Kathy and Andrew Holtz, please come to the front office. Mary and Andrew, make sure you go to the front office. I don't know Gabby, so, oh well. Okay, so, like I said, you might have to go up a little higher in order to see the heart. So now you can actually see the whole entire heart. And like I said, it's been dyed. Yours may not be this bright red. Um, and no, that's not blood. It's like colored wax, okay, that they injected into the frog so you can see it. So there is our heart. Um, and it is inside of this kind of uh, bag that holds the heart in place. Okay, the only other thing up here that we need to be concerned about or that we really have to find are the lungs. And I like to compare the lungs to like shriveled up raisin armpits, okay, armpit raisins. And here is a lung, okay, kind of brown, kind of shriveled, uh, literally up in the armpit. So you may have to dig for them a little bit, but this is the lung and there should be a matching one on the other side, okay. Um, the other thing that gets a little tricky, like I said, is the kidneys. Uh, and since we have a female, this gets even trickier since she's got an egg mass. Um, but they are, sometimes you gotta, you really got to dig for them. Also, if there is some uh, juice, can you see it in there? Sometimes it's easier just to kind of flip them over and let that drain out. And like I said, it's just preserving fluid. Um, think of it like pickle juice. When you buy pickles, they come in juice, right? Um, if you need to, this is when I might pin some things down just to kind of open them up a little bit. But honestly, um, sometimes you just kind of got to dig. All right. So more fat bodies. Uh, uh, I think that's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see. I did find the other lung, however. So there's my other armpit raisin right there. Okay. So if it is easier and you do get a female, you can take the egg mass out because I do realize it takes up a lot of space. Um, you can see she's pretty full of eggs. So like I said, to see stuff, it gets a little tricky. All right. Um, intestine moving into cloaca down there. And uh, bladder sometimes gets a little hard to see. Um, and sometimes you actually puncture it when you make that incision. So if you're not seeing a very clear bladder, not to worry, okay? So those are the major parts. That is a really quick tour in terms of um, your frog, okay? Um, like I said, I went through this pretty darn quick. Uh, you need to make sure that you read your steps in your lab etc, etc, etc. Okay. Um, so, let's have a good dissection. All right. Like I said, quick and dirty. This was the very abbreviated version. You obviously are going to take your time, read through your lab. But I just wanted to give you guys a visual as far as what you're going to see. Okay. As far as cleanup is concerned, anything that touched our frog, um, so paper towel, gloves, etc., that is disposable, is going to get put into a plastic bag. All right, so we've got our plastic bag. And then if we use gloves, we're going to pack those up. So here are my gloves that I used. I'm going to throw those away in the bag. I'm going to take my paper towel and my frog. Make sure before you do your cleanup, you take your quiz. And then last but not least, you're going to take a nice piece of paper towel like not this cruddy one that I'm using, and reline your tray so that it's ready to go for next time, okay? So, wait, hi, okay, zoom out. Nope, not in, zoom out. All right, there we go. So, hopefully, you got a good check at what dissection is gonna be like, and if you have any questions, let me know, okay? Yeah, go team, thumbs up, all right.